Hi everybody, welcome back. We're on COVID test day. If you saw my other video, I went to the doctor. I've not been feeling well. Today's my COVID show up at the test site test day. In order to do this, I had to go online at Rite Aid Pharmacy and fill out their information. I had to go through a survey first. It took about 10 minutes for me to do this. I had to take their survey to see if I even qualified to go take the test. And then after I did the survey, then I had to digitally sign to take the test. I had to digitally sign like for lab work and then for them to actually do the test. And it is all free. I just had to give them permission to do this to me. After they developed a cough today too but in all fairness I do get bronchitis very easily I, I, do, I get I have an autoimmune disease so I do get I tend to get everything just any anything anybody has Michelle's gonna get it it, it doesn't matter it's hopefully not this though hopefully it's just bronchitis test results did come back. I do not have strep throat. That I don't have. But So anyway, back to this testing. So I had to fill out their form, their paperwork, and they'll notify me in two to five business days, whether it's negative or positive. Now, They did let me go on and um, schedule my own test time and test day. I could choose today or tomorrow, and there were a couple time slots I could pick from. So I was able to pick my own time, which I did not pick 9 a.m. because I don't do anything at 9 a.m. except drink coffee on a good day. So I did get to do that. They also sent instructions on what to do when I get to the test site, which I probably should go over them again. I do know that they want you to leave your window closed. Come by yourself if you can. When I get there, pull up, leave the window closed, and I have to have my email to verify the code on the test code with the person standing outside my window. And if everything verifies, I'm supposed to give them a thumbs up. <coughs> then I get to go to the next spot. And after that's where they do the testing. And they'll tell me when I can put my window down. So, I don't know. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I'm in... <coughs> I'm in line with about, only about six other cars, so it's not that bad. And there's a tent over there. Oh, can you see there? And a lady is... There we go. And a lady is standing over behind this car at the entrance of Rite Aid telling people to wait over here. So, in this parking lot across the street. And she's waving everybody over. When I asked her if we could, um, if we needed to wear our masks, she said no because, um, you're going to be swabbing yourself. So, I don't I don't know. There there's a I can't I can't see. Let's see. What to bring? This email to show you. Let me see. I could show you this much. This is what I got. I don't know if you can see that. That's 
part of the one email. This email to show you, show at your appointment on paper or phone. Photo ID with name and birth date that matches the info you entered. I have that. Work ID if you work in a healthcare facility or prison or if you are a first responder. I'm not that. No pets or extra people <coughs> for everyone's safety. And arrive 15 minutes early. And it says watch our video to see how testing works. See attached instructions for details for your site. You'll get the results about two to five days after testing, but this may take longer due to lab capacity. If you des develop severe symptoms, for example, difficulty breathing, please seek prominent, prompt medical attention. Prominent. Best, this is from Project Baseline Team. Oh, we're moving up. Not very far, but we're moving up. And it looks like more cars might be joining behind me. I don't know. Okay. And then when I say, see attached instructions, let's see these. A PDF opens up. So I can show you this. I can show you this. And it looks like this. <coughs> oh, how the test will work. I got a freaking headache, probably from coughing so much. Oh yeah, another car's another car's joining me. Drive to site. I'll get this right. Drive to site. Show documents at the test site. Show photo ID. Had that. Got that. And the reference number number in the confirmation email. Keep your windows closed at all times until otherwise instructed by staff. Well, there were there was a car over there with its window halfway down. Evidently, it didn't read the instructions. Confirm your reference ID. With your window closed, a staff member will show you a reference ID number. If the number matches your email, hold on a minute. If the number matches your email confirmation, give a thumbs up. If it doesn't match, give a thumbs down. Drive to the sample collection area. Staff will tell you where to drive. Remember to keep your windows closed at all times until otherwise instructed. It doesn't say anything about wearing a mask or gloves, so I brought both. Oh, and then number four, there's more instructions. Roll down your window. Once you are at the sample station, <coughs> oh, this feels more like a bronchitis cough, I think. We'll see. Once you are at the sample station, staff will tell you when to roll down your window. A healthcare professional will confirm your name and date of birth and label the swab collection tube. Using the kit provided by healthcare professionals, you'll collect a sample from your nose using a swab. The swab may be a little uncomfortable, which is normal. You'll get more detailed instructions on site. All done. You'll get results soon. If you test positive, you'll get a phone call and an email. If you test negative, you'll receive just the email. Okay, well, let's hope I don't get the phone call. And then I believe they have these instructions in Spanish. And then another language. I know that's Spanish. And this is, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. All right. So I got those instructions. Oh, we're moving up. So not very far, but we're moving up. Oh look, there's a car. She's stopping the car. Where, what? People are dumb. People are just stupid. People are just plain stupid. You know what? It plainly says COVID parking. <coughs> now look, look at this. Plainly, plainly, you see all of this. Well, maybe not that lady over there yet, because that means it, like that truck just stopped there. 
but there's a line over there and there's oh, we'll wait for that truck to move okay there you go at that there's a lady sitting over there in that chair and there's a line to only for that COVID testing well this car just had its right turn signal on tried to turn in there that lady stopped it the lady the lady tried to stop the dude from pulling in there and got in front of him waving her little you know hiney rumpus there and the car went anyway the car turned right and then it went around all those cars and into the parking lot now people can't follow directions i guess i don't know i don't know people are stupid some people are just dumb when i go up there to test i'll turn the camera on if i remember and i'll just set it on the floor so maybe maybe we can listen i'll set it on the floor on my side and hopefully there won't be too much rumbling. Maybe I'll set my purse down there. Then I'll set you in my purse on the floor. Listen to me, we're making plans together. <coughs> you know, there's a lady up there with just a regular mask, no N95 mask. Or maybe it is. That's taking information. And there's cars trying to pull in there again. That poor lady. She probably hates her job right now. That poor woman has to hate her job right now. She has stopped so many people from, here we go, she's gonna try to stop somebody again. What a mess. Oh, the line's going to be moving, but she has to tell that car to go away. Okay, this Yahoo is just backing up in the middle of the road. I, I can't, I can't believe this not sure what they're doing let's see where they try to go oh look they found the COVID testing let's do a u-turn in the middle of the highway or the road right here let's see if she does the other u-turn did you get into here I can't believe she did that she turned around right in the middle of the road with all this traffic I'm telling you people are crazy Maybe she'll choose the driveway to turn around in. Oh, there she goes. Oh, good God. Okay, my turn. All right, we're on a little bit closer. Well, a lady just came to my window with a sign that said, keep your window closed. Did that. And then she looked at my email and... Um, driver's license through the window. Now I'm just waiting for her to do something back. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. I shall wait. Alright, she told me to turn my vehicle off. She says turn your vehicle off at each station. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, okay, I can do that. Now, the car ahead of me is, um, this car in front of me is a teenage girl driver, and she's got a car full of kids, like other teenagers. There, I've got you pointed up. This is an awful view. I know it is. But, it is what it is. What? He's going to tell me to roll my window down. It's got not going to roll down. I'll start my car again. Probably. Oh, here. I'm going to place the basket at the end of the table and slide it out. While doing that, I have to put your window back in. <coughs> okay. Once it's out, you can put your window down again. Okay. 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 
Okay. I'm trying to do another circuit tape. Violin to swab. I'm trying to take this uh, swab out and leave the violin inside the basket. Okay. I'm going to open it from the tab end, which is the thick portion. I'm going to open the head and remove it and put the paper back in the basket. I'm going to take that soft tip. <coughs> okay. I'm going to insert it about an inch and a half up inside the nostril. Take the file out without setting that down. Okay. Put it aside so keep it upright. Okay. It. I'm going to have you put the, the swab tip down inside the vial. We only want to go about half of the stick length. So where your fingers are, just below that, you're going to break off the stick. Okay. Right about right there. That's good. Can I put it in then break okay. it? Breaking the stick. Sure she is. Um, it's crooked. Well, go ahead and take it off and redo re it again. So push down until it clicks. Push. Turn left. Now right. Okay. You want me to try one more time? Try one more time. We're going to try one more time to do this. As soon as you hear that first click, push down and take more. In the basket. Okay. Back on the basket. <coughs> okay. What will happen next? Okay. No, that's it. Thank you. Well, that was not bad. That was not bad at all. Not bad at all. <coughs> it didn't go up. I mean, this side didn't, the swabby didn't go up as far, but I've had two sinus surgeries, so nothing's going to really go up that far unless I, I'm not doing it. But it went quite far up this nostril. He gave clear instructions and, you know, I struggled getting the cap back on and I'm probably sure a lot of people do because it was weird. My mother would never be able to put the cap on because she can never get a cap off. With that, she probably wouldn't have been able to do that. I wonder what they do in that case. Hmm. He did say he would check it once, once he got it back to make sure it was okay. So that was it. There's my COVID testing and I should get an email or a phone call. And he said, I think he said five to seven days. It's a good thing I videoed that. But I'll just keep checking my email and I'll see what I got. And yeah, there was a car of teenagers in front of me. Listen, teenagers, if you don't need the test, don't go get it. And don't go get it with a group of friends thinking it's a fun thing to do. Don't do that. Don't take advantage of this because there are sick people out there that really need this. Alright, COVID-19, I hope I don't have you. I'm going to head home and probably lay down. I'll see you when I get my results. I do have videos filmed in my little... YouTube arsenal that are already scheduled to go up so you'll be seeing my husband and I through the week but this results video I'll post when I get them and I'm sure I'm hoping this it's just bronchitis and just all this crap I always get in the spring but you never know with all this crap going around now and you just never know all right I'll see you later.